Yo, what is up, everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now, today we're continuing off here on official, and we've got a bit of a bridge to finish. So, in the last video, we were building this bridge. So, it, it connects the two ridges on our base and basically gives us a way to transport our gigas and big stuff in between the two areas. So, I'm uh, adding this area here. It's going to be a makeshift turret tower. It's going to be really weird and awkward being in this area. But I'm, I'm throwing it right here because we need to cover at least part of the bridge. Um, I don't like to put too many resources into the bridge. I mean, obviously there's quite a bit, but I'm not going to put like turrets and stuff all up on the upper part. Just because if it gets destroyed or something, you know, or if, you, if I have to destroy it, if we like lose our base on the other side and we needed to blow the bridge or something, that can happen and you're not losing too much. So that's all we lose. Now, anyway... Um, what we need to do is we need to get a little bit of a ramp going down. I'm actually going to put these back on. Um, and we can, I'll show you this one first, actually. So we've got this turret tower. I put this one together earlier. Kind of weird, but I think it'll work. It'll be all right. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, we've also got plant species that planted along the whole thing. So we just need to get one leg of it going down to the river as well. And then I think we're going to head over to Scorched Earth and take on one of the caves there. All right, so let's get started on this. Now, I'm going to show you kind of what I plan on doing. Yes, I'm using a horse. Uh, I've never really planned on using one, but it's perfect for bridges. You, you just got to trust me. It's much faster to get across this bridge using a horse. So this is our bridge horse. We're going to use this for crossing the bridge solely. I think I'm going to make it admin only, and only I can access it because it's, it's really fast and awesome. And I don't want this thing can just take it out anywhere. I mean, this is this is obviously made for bridges. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a leg going down to that area. So we obviously want to get our dinosaurs up and down from here as well without having to leave our perimeter. So I'll show you, okay, that was a little bit high, where we're going to be placing it. So we are going over here. I think we'll place it facing inward. If I if I've placed it facing outward, if someone was to breach the wall, it would block turret coverage, I believe. So if we place it inward, at least it would be more, I don't know, more defendable, I'm pretty sure. So this is the turret tower that I was working on earlier. Finally finished this sucker up. It doesn't look too bad. I like it. I'm going to add a lot more pillars and probably uh, fill up the base with metal walls so that the pillars aren't like exposed or anything. I'll get to that. We just need to make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, I'm just looking and trying to think of how many ramps it's going to take, and it's going to be a lot. So I think it'll be worth it because this is how we have to get anything up there from down here. Basically at this point is we need to take it out here, walk it through the river, and all the way around to the main base. So I'm going to take this thing all the way back around to the bridge where it belongs. I say I should, nobody can take it away from the bridge, and then I Im immediately do so, but we'll be right back. I think I've made enough ramps. Or we're gonna be pretty close. Did I go out far enough? There we go. I just eyeballed that. That's pretty dang close. So, I put uh, foundation support all below. Obviously, if you do it below, like I said in the last video, if you do any support below, you can just build up above. You don't have to be building like pillars and stuff <laughs> all the way up. I've seen some crazy stuff. But I think it looks pretty sleek this way. So I'm going to grab some food before people start complaining at me that I'm hungry. You know, it's just such a common thing that I just get used to it. So, um, oh, another thing. Forgot to show you. Not you. Not you. You. The wyvern. This is the one that I'm raising currently. Pretty decent imprint. I mean, I didn't wake up in the middle of the night last night to imprint it. So I'm back one. But, I mean, whatever. Anyway, let's continue. Let's see how far I can get with these ramps. I'm not sure if these will actually get three wide right away. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough. But I actually... Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, let's get this on the right. Oh, what? That was someone's wyvern. It just clipped me. No. Oh, jeez. After the first one, as long as we can line it up... All the other ones will be totally fine, and maybe we'll do it like that. Boom. All right. I guess you got to do the opposite of what you want to get Ark to 
to register it. So I'll go all the way down with this. Now I did see in the comments of the last video that someone mentioned that I should put the plant species X on ramps so they would be, you know, kind of angled down. And I, I had already put the plant species X on like regular ceilings and I didn't think it was worth it to demolish it, but I think it would have been better if I did the ramps. I'm going to leave them as is for now, but I mean, I think they'll still hit any targets down below because they're kind of hanging off. Yeah, they definitely will, I think. But we need to make more ramps. Let me do that. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. That is going to be so much more convenient. I was thinking about putting a transmitter down here because we transfer out these dinosaurs often, like Brontos and stuff, and this is going to be alright. I think we'll be able to take our Brontos right over to the transmitter with this. So obviously if something happens where our one of our like sides get breached or something, we have to blow the bridge, so I don't want to put too much into it. I'll put more into the turret towers up below it and see how that goes. I'm going to park this right here. Actually... I feel like I should come up with like a, a witty name for this. It's like really cool to run across the bridge, alright? If you don't like it, just deal with it. How's that? <laughs> uh, alright, cool. Now, anyway, what we're going to do now is something that I actually, I've been wanting to do for a while. I wanted to search for a Megalania. I have all the stuff, um ready. I've got Baryonyx kibble all cooked up. We're going to head over to one of the Scorched Earth Caves. It's in the middle. It's the only one that spawns Megalania, and I don't know if we'll find one. We might not find one of a decent level, but I figured as long as while we're looking there, we can check out this cave. I've never been to it. It's the old tunnels. Um, it has an artifact that I've never gotten before, and also it looks pretty cool in just like some of the screenshots that I've seen of it. So we're going to head over there. I'm going to take a Thyla, transfer over this bad boy. And then, we'll see what a... I mean, we haven't done a cave in a long time, let alone a Scorched Earth cave. So, I'm pretty excited, and hopefully, we can make it a trip where we find a Megalania. If we don't, we'll make our way through this thing. So, here we go. Alright, well, that's one way to start a scene. Alright, now, we are here in this crevice at that location, and I have never known that this cave was in here i i didn't even see the crack for a while to be honest because i actually came via the back of this thylacaleo and i probably should have taken a wyvern and carried it but i thought i'd be cool and take this and i didn't get an aerial view so it was freaking hard to find now anyway this cave okay i think it's all loaded in now i've got everything to tame this uh megalania if we find a 150 even can i we need some hide before we can craft a sleeping bag. Which way do we go? Alright. I don't know how dangerous this is. The last Scorched Earth cave I went into, it was quite dangerous. Kill this. And eh, we'll probably just leave it. Oh. Okay. I obviously bought, brought my flamethrower. Most important piece of gear. It might be a little bit dark in some of these areas, it seems. I'll light it up like this with burning bats. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. We can leave that other stuff over there. Did a bit of damage. I'll just force feed him a bit every time. It is quite dark. I should've brought a torch. Can you put a torch on the saddle of a Thylac Leo? I guess we'll never know. All right, so nothing in here. I don't know which way to go. We, we may get lost. It'll be all right though. This, I believe is the way we came from. Oh god, yep. Alright. Mantis actually do a lot of damage. I've only got a primitive Thylacaleo saddle, which kind of sucks because I can't find a better one. Which way do I go? This way. Yes, I definitely didn't come through here. Yeah. Stop. These things are so annoying. Actually, if they hit me with a correctly pla pl uh, placed spray, it will break my armor off the back of this. Oh god. 
Oh, they're just coming out of the walls. Now, one thing I'm not sure of either is if the Megalonia spawn on the walls or something, because now these things are like Thylacoleos. You can climb walls, you can climb ceilings even. And I think they look pretty awesome. So, what is in here? Drum roll, please. Like <laughs> a boomerang. And that's actually kind of cool. I'm putting them on. A <laughs> boomerang. Uh, Alright. Is that a drop inside of a wall? Seriously? Okay. We're gonna get it, obviously. Oh, there's also some cool wall thing over there. Alright. What do you have for me? Scorched Earth Cave Drop? This has gotta be good. Oh. It's actually got really high armor for desert desert cloth saddle. I don't know if there's a use for that. And oh god, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. All right, let's uh, hop on down. Oh, and he just webbed me. Seriously? Are, oh, things are just raining from the ceiling. Is this how this game is? I'm trying to whistle like attack the target, but evidently you can't do that when you're in a web. Or maybe it's because I was in with the crossbow. Kill him. Clear the path. I don't want to, like, hop down and get toe-poured by a titan bow. I'll let him deal with it. You good? Whew. Alright. Let's kill this. There we go. I think we're set. I want to see what this thing is, though. We, we, we straight up passed it. Alien people. I guess they don't have to be aliens, it could be normal people, for all I know. Worshipping an obelisk. And someone ascending, I would assume? That's pretty cool. You disappeared out of nowhere. That one didn't even bother to come out of a wall. That one just... materialized out of thin air. Done. You. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. Oh no! It's the end of the line! Now I have to bother. Seriously? Alright. One more. I just gotta clear the room. And I suppose we leave you behind. Do you have hide? Okay, he does. Let us make a sleeping bag. Huh. <sighs> These craft slow. All right, let's let's toss this down, just in case something happens to me. Obviously, it's good to have a sleeping bag by our Thyla. What? What? Oh, um. Doesn't I don't think it registers this as like ground or something. What? Oh. All right. Well, we've got one. We've got one chance. I'm. I'm going for it. I don't even have I don't even have stimulants. Oh my god, it looks like Skyrim. Is this Draugr gonna attack me? Oh god. It's so quiet down here. I should have brought someone. If I get like bit by a good Titan bow, I'm I'm done for. So we've got Scorpion up here. They're coming back, back Scorpions. Nope, can't place it here either. Thought I'd try. I'm not gonna waste ammo on you. Probably should have brought like a good long neck, but whatever. Flamethrower will work. Oh gosh, I'm glad I didn't run off that cliff. That is the artifact. Hell, we might as well go for it. I haven't seen a single Megalania. How do you get down there? <laughs> I 
wish I had a torch to light this better, but I guess we just have to go by the flaming bodies of... Oh, I don't want to make that angry. I really don't want to get my armor broken by that thing. They have, like, homing projectiles. They've really improved the AI on them, I think. I think I gotta go maybe down there. I want to jump across that ledge. Oh, he's mad. Uh, stay away. Uh-oh. Burn! What level are you? Oh, see! Oh my god, what? It broke my chest piece. Good thing I come prepared. Alright. One shot. That sucks. I need to tame some of those and like put them on turret mode or something. They're freaking annoying. Alright. But if they're on turret mode, do they target the player is what I'm wondering. If they're like riding an animal. Not sure. But we're jumping across this. I'm going to pull these off the edge. I don't really want to walk onto a platform with those. I think we got to kill these things. Die. Die. I don't have food. Uh, I ran out of food. Okay. I told you I was lost in that cavern for a bit. I ate all my food supply. Get the grapple just in case. You know what? I still can't place a sleeping bag. I'm going to get me it. And we're eating raw meat. This is what we've come to. I've got baryonyx kibble. I'm not trying to eat that though. I really don't want to die and lose all of this either. So. I didn't see another way, but. I'll just go like this. Does this work? Oh, please say I didn't do. I did that at the right angle. Oh, it looks like I can touch ground. Oh, and it looks like there's another way too. Oh no. Oh no. If I let go of this grapple, I'm. I'm going down there, and that's death. Um. This might have been a poor choice. I probably should have looked and said. <laughs> uh. Probably should have looked and seen if there was another path before diving in here. Um. Can I put grapple on my other crossbow? I really don't think I can get at an angle where I can fix this situation. If I can get another crossbow going. Oh, they go they both go off the same magical string. What? I might have made it actually. That's risky. Oh, the spear skin. And this artifact that we will need at some point. So, we've gotten it. I guess we're going to find out the direction we, we should have taken, which is here. Back. Back. Back spider. I mean, snake thing. Oh. Oh. Oh, he got me. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Samantis. Maybe I should hit with the boomerang. I don't have any options here. I have low health. I have low food, but we gotta make it back to that Thyla. Burn! Oh! Oh! No! Oh, this is the second one! Alright, Scorpion. Don't sting me. Oh, he stung me. Oh, he stung me again. Oh, there's a spider. I might die. No! It's okay. It's okay. 
We've done it. I don't think there's anything left to, to hurt us. Thank God there aren't like a million bats in this one like every other cave. So, I need to make it back to my Thylacoleo. We did it. We got the artifact. No Megalania at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep searching the cave, probably clearing it until I do get one or two to spawn and get a good one of those. Because I do want to test them out, but I think this is pretty cool. This is this is a cool thing to do solo, too. This is This is fun. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. Can't come to Scorched Earth without checking out the drops, of course. Oh, is that worse than primitive? I don't even know. I don't know what the base is. And that is not needed. We've got an Ascendant Blueprint. Anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day. And of course, we'll catch you next time. Seriously, thanks a ton for all the support on the series. We'll see you in the next one, guys.